You also started working with Ralph Bakshi. Now, first of all, what were you doing with Ralph Bakshi? And second, how did that happen? Oh, that was a crazy, that was a crazy story. He is, he, uh, Ralph is a force of nature. Mm-hmm. That man is a, is a is a whirlwind, right? He's like the Tasmanian devil of animation, right? <laughs> That's always <laughs> been my impression of him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was, a, that was a really crazy experience. Yeah? <laughs> um, but definitely some stories to tell on that. Uh, let's see, how did it happen? We met because I, for a bit, with Fred Seibert, who I was working with uh, in New York. Oh. Um, Fred Seibert was the uh, the man for, you know, cartoons yeah. in general forever. Um, he was a producer of, like, Powerpuff Girls back mm-hmm. in the day, Doctor's Lab. Um, and currently, well, not currently anymore, but, like, Adventure Time from uh, one of my friends from school, uh, Ben Ward. And, um, yeah, just uh, everything. And I was working with him uh, for Channel Frederator back then. Okay. And it's like a like a it was kind of like an animation festival each week that we put out. Um I was in charge of uh of um I was in charge of community management for that and also um production coordinator. So it was kind of like uh Are you me... talking Well, are you talking about the Channel Frederator like the YouTube presence that they had where they would keep releasing like oh wow. Okay, I didn't yeah, know that you YouTube, were involved in that too. Like, early, like it was early 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 for them though. Like I said yeah. 2007 2006. Um back then like it was just me doing like stuff with them and now I think Fred has like 10, 15 people doing the one job I was doing. Right. Except, out, you know, um, so I was like, man. <laughs> um, but no, it was a learning experience for sure. Like Fred's amazing. Um, but anyhow, like, so I was doing, I was also in charge of like, since I was doing community management, I was also in charge of like their blogs and stuff. Um, and so I would do blog illustrations for the company. And one of the ones that I did was a like cartoon, like here's Chuck Jones. And we released like a postcard series of these. I might have them somewhere. I'll send them to you. Okay. Um, One of them was like Hanna-Barbera, like Chuck Jones, like animation legends. Right. And another one was like Ralph Bakshi. So I still had that, you know, image lying around and I wished Ralph Bakshi a happy birthday back then. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget what year that was. That was probably... Wait, that was probably 2010, 2011, maybe. Okay. So I, you know, says happy birthday to Ralph. And then Ralph's social media team, which is just like his son and his family, um, they used the illustration as his personal, like, avatar. Oh. So, like, you know, on Facebook at the time and um, Twitter, I think it was. And, yeah, that was really cool. And... One day, you know, I just got like an email from him saying, hey, you know, you seem pretty, pretty like bright and stuff. And I want to know, like, you know, what do you think about making like some shorts and stuff? And I'm like, that's cool. But you haven't done anything since Cool World. right? (laughs) (laughs) At that time was like, what, like early, like 90s or so? He hadn't done anything for like 20 years. That's very true. And, I mean, I heard he had, like, a film that he wanted to do called Last Days of Coney Island. Oh, okay. And, um, like, he'd been working on that forever, but never came to, like, fruition or anything um, at the time. Um, And so, you know, he and I started working on on a little little short at the time, and it was called Trickle trickle dickle down or something like that Mm -hmm. and it was when Mitt Romney was running and everything so even even now like Ralph is still very like political and like you know stuff that he's doing and um we just repurposed some animation from uh what what was that Uh, heavy traffic I think okay and that was pretty fun that was a fun experience I got to like do like art direction on that um but yeah every single morning at like because he's out in uh arizona i think maybe and he wakes up early so like every morning at 6 a.m ring 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 you know and 
That was my alarm clock for like a couple months. <laughs> Just wrapped up. Hey, Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> Joey, I got this idea. And it was just like, it was, you know, um, and there were times when like he get angry, you know, and, and I'm a very patient, calm person. And it takes a lot for you to, to get me up to that level. Right. But yeah. when I get mad, I get mad. Um, and so I, you know, I would yell back at him. <laughs> and stuff. Um, yeah, it, it was, it was, it was crazy. It was a crazy, crazy time. And I helped him uh, in the early beginning stages of his uh, Kickstarter for last days of Coney Island. I helped him in the beginning of that. Okay. But then he kind of ended up dropping me once. Uh, what actor was that? Ma- Matthew Modine, I think. Really? Um, Matthew Modine came on board with a ton of cash and, and then they didn't need me anymore. So he's like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> right. <laughs> 